This is How Curious from KGOU, exploring your questions about Oklahoma. I'm Claire Donnelly. The TV show Mr. Ed aired from 1961 to 1966. It's a comedy about a talking horse named Mr. Ed. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course, that is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. Ed. But Mr. Ed only talks to his owner, Wilbur Post. Oh, morning, Wilbur. Never mind that. I'm tired of you beating me to the morning paper. I like to read it with my eggs. I like to read it with my hay. Alan Young played Wilbur. And he said to Arthur, I think you better get Alan Young because he looks like the kind of a guy a horse would talk to. Young died in 2016, but the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences interviewed him in 2001. He said people always wanted to know how he made the horse that played Mr. Ed talk. I started a big lie. I said, well, when you were a kid, did you ever have get peanut butter stuck under your lip? Oh, that's how it's done. So I never really lied. I used to ask him a question. Young said Mr. Ed's trainer actually used a different trick. He used a soft nylon thread put under the lip. And then he had the end going down the bridle. And he just give it a little tug, and Ed would try to get rid of it. That was his cue. For the second year, we could hardly stop him from talking. As soon as he heard my voice stop, his lips would start to go. Another actor did Mr. Ed's voice. Rocky Lane had been a big... Western star, I mean big, uh, Alan Rocky Lane. And he was on his uppers because Westerns had kind of faded away, and he'd faded with them because he'd been a star years before, and he was sleeping on Lester Hilton's couch. So we're taking photograph uh, publicity pictures, and suddenly we heard this voice come out, Hey, Lester, where'd you keep the coffee? And everybody looked, that's Ed's voice. Mr. Ed ran for six seasons, over 140 episodes, all in black and white. Mr. Ed was always up to something. In one episode, he tried to become the first horse astronaut sent into space. In another, he hit a home run in the Los Angeles Dodgers stadium. Did you see that? I don't believe it. No? That's the smartest horse I ever saw. Well, he's not so smart. He forgot to touch second base. KGOU listener Adam Cotton remembers watching reruns of the show after school. And he heard Mr. Ed is buried somewhere in Oklahoma. So he asked how curious. Is that true? Gina McPhail is the tourism director for the Tahlequah Chamber of Commerce in northeastern Oklahoma. We have the Illinois River, which is a huge draw. We have Lake Tim Keller, which is a huge draw. We're also the Cherokee Nation capital. So Mr. Ed, I would say, would probably be in the top 13. There is a Mr. Ed gravesite in Tahlequah. And McPhail says people call her office asking about it. You know, it's an old show. <laughs> and, and I was really surprised how many people are actually drawn to this. When I first came to Tahlequah in 1991, I had heard that Mr. Ed the Talking Horse had been buried there in Tahlequah, and I was very excited. Ken Thompson teaches hospitality and tourism management at Northeastern State University. In my classes, I would actually, as a project, you know, have them, what tourism ideas would you do if we were actually going to try to capitalize on the fact that Mr. Ed, you know, had his final days in Tahlequah, and we would think of you know, pony rides and petting farms and, you know, this is the different things that you could do. And uh, I even had fun talking with friends uh, saying, hey, we could go off the old dead heads, you know, the, the Grateful Dead fans, and we could make shirts that said dead Eds. Alan Young wrote a memoir in 2007. In it, he said Mr. Ed was played by a palomino named Bamboo Harvester. He wrote that after the show ended, Mr. Ed and his trainer, Lester Hilton, moved to a tiny house with a small backyard, paddock, and barn on Spark Street in Burbank, California. Young visited when he was in town. According to Young's book, around 1970, Hilton went to see some relatives in Oklahoma for a few days, leaving Mr. Ed with a different caretaker. Young said Mr. Ed sometimes had trouble getting up after lying down because he was a heavy horse with skinny legs. 
but when the visiting caretaker saw the horse flailing around on the ground, he thought Mr. Ed was having a seizure and gave him a tranquilizer. No one knows exactly what happened, but Mr. Ed died a few hours later and was cremated in Los Angeles. According to Young, only trainer Lester Hilton knew where the ashes were scattered. So, if Mr. Ed died in California, then what's the Oklahoma grave site? I went to Tahlequah to find out. The gravestone is just off of Highway 82, about five miles north of the city, in a patch of grass on private property behind a low house with tan siding and dark red brick. It's a rectangular engraved granite marker, about five feet tall, with an image of Mr. Ed's head peering through a barn door. At the base of the headstone, there's a small pile of coins. There he is. Okay, it says, this monument was dedicated to the loving memory of Mr. Ed on Sunday, August 26th, 1990. It is a result of a heartfelt... Here's Ken Thompson from Northeastern State University again. That's not actually Mr. Ed that's buried there, but that's Pumpkin, who was Mr. Ed's stunt double after he died. We don't know much about Pumpkin, but he was reportedly Mr. Ed's stand-in. One website says Pumpkin looked very much like Mr. Ed, except for a gold spot in the middle of the white blaze on his nose. The spot was supposedly covered with white makeup when he was Ed's replacement. In his book, Alan Young didn't mention the name Pumpkin, but he did write Mr. Ed's production company used a different horse for publicity photo shoots in 1960. Young said after the show was successful, the studio learned someone was showing a horse around the country as the original Mr. Ed. But the studio decided it was innocent and not worth pursuing. Gina McPhail at the Tahlequah Chamber again. This one was Mr. Ed at some time. You know, I mean, he was a body double. So at some point, you know, he really was Mr. Ed. Pumpkin reportedly died in 1979. According to one newspaper article, about 200 people came to the 1990 unveiling of the Mr. Ed Monument. Bands played in the hot sun as people milled around the property, owned at the time by Danny and Darlene Snodgrass. The current owner didn't respond to my request for an interview. Ken Thompson says he likes seeing the Mr. Ed marker on his drive to work, even if it's really for Pumpkin. It's still exciting. It's still fun. We have a celebrity uh look alike <laughs> buried buried in Tahlequah. That's it for this episode of How Curious. The show is a production of KGOU Radio. It's produced by me, Claire Donnelly, and this episode was edited by Caroline Halter. David Gray composed our theme music. Send us your Oklahoma questions at curious at kgou.org. And make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our podcast on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts.